This conference will now be recorded. Hi all, good evening. This is Shivaji here. I welcome you all to analyze with me session five. Today we will start our discussion with silver chart. Okay. Before I go forward, I want to show you some interesting uh, uh, data points. Okay. If you remember, uh, I think 2000, uh, 2000, uh, 11 incident okay when obama the u.s president announced killing of osama bin laden on 2nd may 2011 monday morning okay this is on monday morning okay and uh, as you know the markets were closed on friday evening itself saturday sunday was a holiday okay just look at what has happened on the silver chart just before this announcement okay i have marked the down tick uh, with the blue arrow okay this is second may 2011 monday morning okay prior to that on 25th april there was a shooting star on silver okay it went up to close to 50 dollars and then there was a a huge uh, sell off from the top and then next day there was a follow up selling okay and then there was a rally for the next two days but look at the high of 28th april it could not cross this shooting star doji okay so shooting star is a bearish candle this high was not crossed and friday we are closed uh, around about 48 dollars okay you know why uh, this was struggling at this 48 50 dollars this is one interesting thing which we need to understand okay and then the news followed on monday morning uh, and then uh, there was a huge sell off in the next 4 days silver came to 34 dollars in a matter of 4 days from 50 or even 49 so 15 rupees is 30 percent from the top imagine silver falling 30 percent in four days okay i told you also we were short uh near this zone okay one reason this candle there is candle and also i'll show you one of the reason uh, which i always discuss uh, during my classes why we need to be careful near a previous high which is getting tested after multi-month or multi-year okay let us go back and see when this 50 dollar high was tested before okay now i will change the chart to uh, monthly okay so look at here this is 1980 okay silver high was 19 in 1980 was around about 48 uh, dollars or 49 dollars that was tested again in 2011 okay that is like after 30 years okay just look at that after the uh, okay so after this sharp fall in 1980 uh, uh, you know end of the 1980s it went into a sideways till 2003 2004 this was tested again this was tested again in 2011 okay so it took uh, uh, around about 30 years to test that so this is the reason why i always say whenever any stock or index is testing a previous high after multi months or multi years okay then there is a high probability of getting sold or getting a good dip okay this was also one of the reason why we were short in the silver from 49 for 48 49 50 zone okay you can say that okay so the moment news came it cracked 30 percent okay and then you can see it went all the way to 13 dollars uh, in next five years okay you can see here clearly okay there was a base around 26 when the 26 was broken it went into a downside yeah. and then you can see it, it touched 
thirteen dollars. Okay, you can see this is like September uh, two thousand eleven low, and this one is December two thousand eleven, and this is June two thousand twelve. And it got broken in 13. So two year bottoms were broken. So clearly silver was on the downside, right? See one uh, important thing you can also note on the monthly chart. This is a bearish. Uh, it was engulfing, but it retraced. So you can say piercing. And then there was a, this high was never crossed even during a, a next rise. Okay. During this time, many brokers gone bust. Okay. Many people have lost money like anything many were long okay so you can see uh, once this low was broken that uh, news has come osama bin laden was killed and then there was a drop to 32 dollars and then there was a rally and then once that low is broken and then you can see it went into a sideways and you can see the range 35.4 and then 25 or 26 you can see so 26 on the downside and 35 on the upside so round about nine dollars so you can deduct nine dollars from here 26 minus nine so that is like 17 dollars so it came up to 17 dollars and then again built a base right here uh, in a range and then that also got broken it went into a sideways okay so this was the downward uh, journey of the silver. So now let us look at what happened in 1986 and 2004. Okay, you can see here clearly this was the top in 87. Okay, and this was the top in 2004. There, after a big fall, it went into a you know huge round shape recovery or a consolidation, and then the breakout happened here. That is uh, when the bull market started even in india right you go back and check nifty gave a breakout in 2005 from 2005 to 2000 end of the 2007 nifty itself went up seven times okay silver breakout happened at 8.3 okay and then uh, it went to 21 so two and a half times uh, in 2008 uh, this is when uh, all the stock market stopped and uh, started giving a correction silver also gave the correction from 21 dollars to back to 8 dollars and see that low was tested here okay so the breakout happened at 8 point something and then that got retested a new bull market started uh, november 2008 this was the uh, in silver okay and then you can see it gave a uh, parabolic rise right so this was the uh, uh, history from 1980 till 2008 right and then let us look at what has happened uh, in the recent years all right so let us go back and check some of the uh, recent data okay now you see uh, this was the top in 2016 and we made a bottom around 13 point something and this was a similar bottom in 19 during 2020 fall there was a break but it did not sustain so you had three similar bottoms okay around 13 14 dollars okay and there were intermediate tops around 21 and then you see there was a breakout here at 20 dollars okay it went up till 29 30 dollars here all right so now you can see the trend has changed from downside from 49 50 dollars post osama bin laden killing in 2011 the silver has gone down and then made an intermediate top a low an intermediate top similar low that was broken but it did not sustain on monthly chart because that was a 2020 crash you know and then it gave a breakout so trend changes occurred after you can see uh, 2016 and 2020 so four years of consolidation a good reversal from bear market accumulation started and then it went up okay now you see after making an intermediate high year from 14 dollars it made a higher bottom 
around 17 plus dollars okay now a new ball A new bull market will kick start when we cross this 29.30 dollars as per the Dow theory. Okay, now we can't enter so late. Okay, because this is a monthly chart. Now I want to see an intermediate uh, pattern or uh, a structure which is giving an early signal. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll go to weekly chart. Okay, so now I'll, I'll try to erase all this okay so this is looking ugly all right so yeah all right so now i will erase all that yeah fine now let us look at the weekly chart now you see this is the recent data okay uh, this was uh, march low right and then we made an intermediate top here and then it went into a channel uh, kind of uh, structure right here you can see here there were highs okay so this was the previous high and then you can see there is a trend change now we are yet to cross this high all right this is coming around 27 even if you take 26 on the closing basis this is around 26 1.6 uh, uh, so if we cross this high and this high we will kick start a move okay now you can see higher bottoms are being made now this is the stop loss 22.2 because the trend has changed after this consolidation on the long term we have already seen okay how we are in an uptrend in a silver on a very long term scale okay and then the momentum will start about 26 but now i can't wait till 26 because we have already come out of this channel trying to uh, uh, you know retest it uh during recent fall it went inside it but again uh with the recent up move uh the the commodity has gone up above this blue trend line okay now above this red line you will have the momentum so 26 26.2 when it start trading that is like 1.5 dollars 1.7 dollars then you will see huge momentum okay for me first target is 29.8 that is what i have told you this is my previous top okay that is august 2020 top and february 21 top so i will book my profit initially around 29.8 to 30 dollars okay then i'll wait for either retest of 26 27 or a break of this high but remember once this 30 dollars is broken then where is the next stop okay let us uh, again go back to monthly chart okay right let us go back to monthly chart see here once this high is taken out okay then there is 35 dollars here okay there is a band of resistance here okay this is a possibility okay so above 30 35 and then it will eventually head towards uh, the previous high that is 48 to 50 dollars okay for me the commodity is in bull run uh, on the long term scale okay or even a medium term <coughs> point of view uh, it should test 48 again going forward okay now let us understand when we, this commodity will enter a new bull market so this is not a new bull market but it in the in the large context if i see it is still in sideways in a range okay i'll show you okay just look at this chart 48 on the upside 
1980 and then 2011 okay and then you can see there is a range here four dollars on the downside 48 and because of the inflation or whatever you may call it that base has gone up to 13 dollars or 14 dollars so broadly if i take if i take four here plus 14 let's say 18 so average even if i take so nine dollars so nine dollars on the downside 48 dollars on the upside okay even if we take the actual value itself let's say four dollars itself so this is the range now okay this is the range okay so a new bull market will trigger when 48 is crossed so it is no brainer right so 48 minus 4 44 dollars right what is the difference so now you can calculate the target above 48 right so it should head towards 100 and it's gonna be like it's it can happen in 2000 24 25 26 i don't know okay let it happen but it's going to take some time don't be uh, in an assumption that we are heading towards 100 that's not my point my point is over a decade let's say over a decade it is going to head towards 100 all right uh, it will go back to 40 my my uh, sense is like it will go back to 40 48 and th then dip a bit and then break out this is how it will happen okay but that's gonna take some time it can happen in 26 27 whatever may be the reason maybe you can play this move accordingly and put it in etf as an investment is also fine all right uh, i'm not recommending but uh, what i uh, what i'm trying to say is if somebody wants to make that kind of investment i think uh, you know you can't keep on rolling over uh, every month then etfs are better options okay but over a period of time in the next one decade at least okay from here it can do 100 dollars 90 to 100 dollars okay but that's going to take time so once it goes close to 48 49 i'll book profits because as i explained you let's say if it is happening in 2025 or 26 whenever for example okay that will be again a retest of previous high after 2011 that's like 14 years 15 years so i'll book profits and then it's going to take time to break out but whenever it builds a higher bottom here okay then they then we will get a sign of a multi-year bull market it, this commodity is still not in a bull market on a long term scale on in i mean uh, not in indian indian rupees but on dollar terms okay on dollar terms it's not in a bull market yet sorry in, in 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 dollar terms okay so in rupee terms it is already in a bull market because of the depreciation okay but in dollar terms it is still not in a bull market and it is a fantastic setup whenever it happens three years because this is a very uh, crazy commodity okay it it gives a very sharp exponential rise whenever a move starts so let's say two three years down the line if we hit even 50 dollars or 48 dollars okay let's say 25 mid or 25 end okay that is when we should book profits on a long-term investment for short term as i told you about 26 we will head towards 29 and then 35 and then there will be a moves even like a retest will happen all right there will be uh, dips in between and then it will eventually head towards 50 so that is what i am trying to figure out i hope uh, this analysis makes sense to you i have shown you 
the way we look at the charts in terms of long term in terms of short term in terms of medium term also okay this is how one should focus on analyzing let's look at the daily chart okay on the daily chart you can see it is building a higher base right this was the bottom this was the bottom this was the bottom now we need to sustain above this high okay so once we are in an uptrend clearly once we cross 26 uh, 26 26 20 so we will get like a quick 15 percent move all right i hope uh, this is good enough analysis to understand why i'm bullish on silver as of now for medium term and long term it's going to take time but yes uh, it it's going to happen that's my belief okay and you should know why you should book uh, profits around 48 49 dollars i have explained it well in advance also okay keep this in mind because i may not be remembering to update all these things but if you are investing in etfs or buying a physical uh, silver or any contract that is when one should be looking to book profits okay all right so with this my analysis on silver is over then i will move back to indian markets all right so let us analyze nifty okay so nifty you have seen that there is a good breakout now this has become a base now for medium term 19000 20100 is a base even if you consider uh, the pre 